Hello, sports fans and football fans. Sportsman Z here, and I've got our next game of the week. And this is week seven, starting the second half of the schedule. And this pits the Baltimore Colts visiting the Pittsburgh Steelers. And so, you can see I got my scoreboard ready. We are all ready to go. Pittsburgh is the home team they elect to kick off to Baltimore in the first half. And the kickoff is an eight, which is to the six, number one. So Baltimore receives it at the six. And let's see what that number one back does. It's on the Pittsburgh return card. And it's only 19 yards. So four, 10, five, and it's out to the 25, which is where it would have been if it was a touchback. So uh, Baltimore goes into action there and they will, uh, let's see. They are going to go short to the split end to start out. And we will start the clock. The clock doesn't move on kicks if I remember that it doesn't move on kicks. Pittsburgh is looking for the pass and the short pass is on the uh, Pittsburgh D, which is a nine, which is a receiver. And that is going to the split end for Baltimore. That's a roll of four and it's incomplete. So they will try a flat to the tight end on second down, flat pass. <laughs> Pittsburgh again, looking for the pass and that's an eight. And that's going to be a receiver. <clears throat> and that is a four flat pass on the tight end. And that is four yards because they were looking for it. So <clears throat> they've got a third and six. Third and six, they're going to go back to the short pass to the flanker. They are looking for the pass again. No penalty so far. That's kind of surprising. Four uh, short pass on Pennington is 13 yards. So he picks up the first down for the Colts. Chad Pennington, a quarterback today for Baltimore. <clears throat> They're going to go end run with a halfback on first down. And Pittsburgh guessing pass again, and that's a 12 end run on their defense, and that's negative five. Wow. So now they've got to go back to the short. They're gonna go short pass to the split end on second and 15. They are looking for the pass. That is an eight uh, short pass, and that's incomplete. And now, of course, they don't have any option really but to go short short pass to somebody and it's going to be the flanker in this case and uh, they are looking for the pass and that's an 11 short on Pittsburgh and that's going to be a negative eight so Baltimore's fortunes change quickly after that first down they've got a punt they do and it's 47 back two so 1 10 20 30 40 and 7 and back number 2 returning the ball that is on the uh, Baltimore return card and that is 7 yards so Pittsburgh finds themselves first and 10 at the 30 and they are going to start with an end run to the half back trying to exploit that poor uh, oh no, actually they're good against the run. So anyway, uh, they are, Baltimore's looking for the run. So that is a six end run on Baltimore's D and that's only a yard. Now they're going to go flat to the, uh, 
they're gonna go flat to the flanker. Flat pass to the flanker. And they're looking for the run. That is a five on Baltimore's flat pass, and it's nine yards and a first down. So first and ten, they're gonna go short to the split end. And they are looking for the uh, pass. And that is a seven short pass on Aaron Rodgers. And that's going to be 12 yards. And I'm still amazed that we do not have a penalty yet. So they are going to go short to the flanker. I mean, Baltimore's defense is poor against passes. And you got Aaron Rodgers. So they are looking for the run. And that's a three, short pass three on Baltimore, and that's another 12 yards. So Pittsburgh is on the move. I think they maybe they found something <coughs> that they can use. And on first and 10, Pittsburgh is going to go short to the split end. And they're looking for the run. And that's a five short with a possible defensive penalty this time. And that's going to be a receiver, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on Baltimore. Eight. <clears throat> no, there isn't. And so let's see. Um, let's see. What was that? Receiver. Seven on the... Uh, Split end. Seven on the split end. Short is incomplete. So they are going to, on second and ten, they're going to go short to the flanker. Short to the flanker. They're looking for the run. And that's a three possible defensive penalty again. This time it's 12 yards, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on them. Or that it refers it back to and it said does and wait a minute yeah it does opponent number two so it's actually going to be an, a penalty on pittsburgh pass situations offense two holding 10 yards from the original line of scrimmage <clears throat> so they will have a second and 20 and they are still going to go short they're going to go short to the tight end this time they're looking for the pass, Baltimore is, and that's an eight short pass, and that's going to be a negative nine on Baltimore. So now they're really, so now they got a third and forever, Baltimore is only looking for the pass, and they're going to go long to the flanker, because there's no way they pick this up on a short pass. Oh yeah, they're looking for the pass. Possible defensive penalty though, six long is intercepted two to seven but let's see if there was a penalty on baltimore seven it does not look like there was there wasn't so intercepted two to seven and it is 27 yards downfield two 10 20 and four they get it at the um 20 26 they intercepted at the 26 and the return is a six, which is not going to be much. It's 12 yards. So they have it first and 10. Baltimore does at the 38 yard line, at their own 38 yard line. And they are going to go, they're going to start with an end run to the halfback. They're looking for the pass, and that's an eight end run. And eight end run is six yards. Second and four, they're going to go end run with the fullback. And I did not stop the clock on any of those last... Uh, well, that was a, a change of possession on an interception, so I wouldn't have stopped it then. Six end run, or yeah, six end run with a possible offensive penalty. That would be eight yards, but let's see if there is a penalty eight on Pittsburgh. There isn't, 
So they do get um, eight yards. And a first down. And now they're gonna go end run with the halfback. They're looking for the pass. That is a nine end run on the halfback's card. And that's gonna be five yards. And it's a possible defensive penalty too. Check for that. Five, Pittsburgh, no, there is no penalty. So at second and five, they're going to go end run with the fullback. And they're just going to keep doing this if it keeps working. Pittsburgh's defense was poor against the run. They are looking for the run this time, though. Eight end run. And that's going to be five yards, even if they're looking for it. So gives them a first down. They've got another set of downs. They're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with a halfback. They're looking for the run. That is a four end run on the defense for Pittsburgh, and that's going to be nine yards. So they have a third and, or a second and one. They're going to go line buck with a fullback. And they are looking for the pass, and that is an 11 line buck with the fullback, and that's six yards and another first down. So Baltimore moving it, running it, running it, running it. End run with the halfback on first and ten. They are looking for the uh, pass. Um, and that is a seven end run with the halfback. And it's five yards. They're going to go end run with the fullback. They just keep moving it, moving it, moving it. And they're looking for the pass, and that's an eight end run possible defensive penalty. Um, eight is five yards, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty. Eight on Pittsburgh is no penalty, so they do get five yards and another first down. And now they've got a first down at the 14 yard line of Pittsburgh. Now they're going to try changing it up. They're going to try a short pass to see if they can throw it into the end zone and get the touchdown. They're looking for the run, so they caught him with their pants down. Eight short pass is um, incomplete. So now they got to go back to the run. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback, and they're looking for the pass, and that's a six end run. And that is eight yards. So they have a third and two. Third and two, they're going to go line buck with a fullback. And one might wonder if they're going to go for it. They're looking for the pass. That's a 10 with a um, 210 on the uh, line buck fullback. And that's seven yards, and it is a touchdown. Because they were at the seven. We'll stop the clock, and we will give Baltimore the seven points because the extra point is automatically good with only 317 left in the first quarter and uh, they will kick off that's an 11 nice kickoff it's to the goal line number one to the goal line number one Pittsburgh returning it and that's a seven that's on the Baltimore return card, and it is 26 yards. So they will have it first and 10 at the 26. First and 10 at the 26, and they are going to... We'll let the uh, clock not run on this first play since I didn't stop the clock on the uh, first punt of the game. So they're going to go short to the split end. And they are looking for the pass, and that is a nine short on the Baltimore D, and that's a receiver. And it's a four, um, so four on their split end short, if they are looking for it, is incomplete. So now we will start the clock again. They're going to go short to the flanker. 317 winding down here in the first quarter. They are looking for the pass. That is a five short, and that's going to be a receiver. And this is the flanker. 
this time. Seven flanker. Nobody catches it, I don't think, on seven. So that is incomplete. Now they got a third down. They got to go short to the tight end and hope he can catch it. But even he wouldn't have caught it that last time. So let's see what they're looking for. They're looking for the run. They caught him looking for the run for some reason. Three short is um, on Rogers' card is incomplete because they were looking for it. So we will stop the clock and they will punt the ball away. And it's a 10. Um, it is 35 back one. Not a good punt. 4, 10, 20, 30, and 1. So returning it from the 39, from their own 39. And it's an eight, which is on theirs, and it's two yards. So they'll let the clock run, start running again, and they are going to do the same running, running, running. End run halfback. And they are looking for the pass. That is a seven end run. And uh, let's see, that's four yards. They've got a second and six. They're going to go end run with the fullback. And they are looking for the run this time. And there's a possible offensive penalty. So three end runs going to be a short game. But let's see if there's an offensive penalty. Five on their card is offsides. There is. So they actually have a... Um, that gives them right now a second and eleven instead of second and six. So they're going to, they're still going to stick with the uh, run though. They're going to go end run with the half back. They are looking for the run. And that is a five and it's a pos going to be a possible fumble. Half back, let's see. Um, end run with the half back five. No, it isn't. He, he does not fumble this running back, this half back, but he does lose eight yards because they were looking for it. So now they don't really have much of a choice. They've got to go to the air. They're going to go uh, short pass, and really even that isn't going to get it, but they're going to go short. They are looking for the pass. That is a three short pass on the Pittsburgh defense, and it's incomplete. And so they will punt with 53 seconds left in the first quarter, and that's an eight on the punt which is 45 back one. So 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 2. And they're returning from their own 23-yard line. And it's an 8, which is on the Baltimore punt return, and that's a 7-yard return. So they're going to have it first and 10 at the 30. Not bad field position. And they will go short to the split end. They got to go back to that because Baltimore is poor against passes defensively and they have Rodgers. They're looking for the pass though and their possible defensive penalty five short is receiver and seven on the split end is incomplete. Let's see if there was a defensive penalty 10 on Baltimore, opponent offsides. So it's actually going to be a second, it's going to be a first and 15. And they're going to go short to the flanker. Short to the flanker, and they are looking for the pass, and that is a three short, and that's going to be 12 yards, a 12 yard pickup. And so that is the end of the first quarter with the score 7 nothing Baltimore. And we will reset the clock. And they are at the 38, 37, at the 37. So we'll put them at the 37 down here. Going this way now. And, oh, they lost yardage though, right? 
so they have a second and to be honest an aisle I don't even really know what they have so we're just gonna say they have a second and 14 chalk that up to a mistake they're gonna go short to the flanker second and 14 no wait they they picked up the yardage that they needed so they're like it's um it's really it's third and like four third and four so third and four they're still going to go short to the this time to the tight end and they are looking for the um <clears throat> the pass and that is a six short pass on Baltimore's defense, which is incomplete. They wouldn't, they didn't pick it up anyway. Whether, well, wait a minute, there's a possible defensive penalty. Eight, I don't believe it is, though it isn't. So they do have to punt. And that's a 10 on their punt, which is 35 back one. Three, 10, 20. 30 and 2 they're returning from the 28 from their own 28 yard line they got an 11 back too let's see what happens there it's fumble negative 2 and 2 to 6 or 12 they get the fumble back they don't so Pittsburgh is going to take over right there So that was a big break from Pittsburgh, and now they're going to try to throw it right into the end zone. Short pass to the split end. And they are looking for the pass, and there's a possible defensive penalty. Seven short is 12 yards, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty, which could change back to them. Six there isn't, so it's a 12-yard pickup. So Pittsburgh has a first and 10 at the 15-yard line of Baltimore. down by seven and they're going to go short to the flanker they're looking for the uh, pass that is a nine short nine short pass is receiver and that's an 11 um, so let's see here their what is it flanker on 11 on a short pass is 14 yards and they're down to the one first and goal at the one so they're going to go right now they're going to go off tackle with the fullback because they're this close and i'm going to modify the baltimore play call they're going to call pass only one to eight and run nine to twenty and they still are looking for the pass and that's a five off tackle five for the fullback is um, fumble zero two to three or twelve he doesn't fumble but he does get zero yards second and goal from the one now they're gonna go short to the split end because you can't throw a flat pass down here and you can't throw a long pass down here and they are looking for the <coughs> they're looking for the uh, run and that is a 10 short pass incomplete so it's third and goal from the one right now they're going to go line buck fullback and hope he can get it in one to eight looking for the uh or one to eight looking for the pass they're looking for the run that is a six line buck from the fullback six and that's zero yards they were looking for it Pittsburgh has a decision to make and what they're going to do is they're going to try to go for it and they're going to go short pass to the tight end <clears throat> one to eight looking for the pass they're not they're looking for the run that is an eight that is a receiver it's the tight end 10 tight end when they're not looking for it is 17 yards or really just one and a touchdown so that stops the clock it gives Pittsburgh their seven they don't miss an extra point so it is seven to seven and they will kick off with 12 13 left in the half in a seven all game and that's four that is to the three number one so Baltimore receiving the ball to three 
And the number one back gets a three on the return. And that's going to be number, was it number one? Yeah, it was number one. So it's 27 yards. So he's up, they're out to the 30. Nice return. They just missed a touchdown. They rolled two, but neither here nor there. So they are going to go end run with the halfback on first down. Again, trying to exploit the Pittsburgh D that isn't good against the run. They're looking for the run, though. And that's a seven possible offensive penalty, too. Seven end run is, um, a, it would be a, no, no, they were looking for it. It's negative one, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty. And there was not. So they do lose a yard. It's second and 11. They're going to go end run with the fullback. End run with the fullback. They are looking for the pass. That is a three end run fullback. And that's going to be six yards. So they have a third and five. Third and five, they're going to go flat to the tight end. Pittsburgh is looking for the pass. That is a nine flat. And that's going to be a receiver. Tight end nine is incomplete. So they will have to punt. And I'm going to let the clock run here because I didn't let it run on, the, on their plays. So five. I got to get better about that. Uh, five on the punt is 49 back to 10, 20, 30, 40, 9. Back number two is returning it. Seven. And that is uh, 10. It's on the uh, Baltimore return card and it's 10 yards. So they have it first and 10 at the 26, at their own 26. And they're going to go long to the flanker on first down. I mean, Baltimore is poor against passes. Let's really make them pay if they can. They're looking for the pass, though. Seven long on Rodgers is incomplete. So they're going to go short to the split end on second down. They're looking for the pass. That is a nine short on the Baltimore D as receiver. They're going to the split end. Six. Six split end is 14 yards. And now they're going to air it out again with Rodgers. They're going to go long to the flanker on first down since they've got another first down. They are looking for the pass. Possible defensive penalty though. Six. Would be a receiver, but let's see if there was a penalty. Eight, I don't think there was. There isn't, so let's see. The receiver is the flanker, and it is five on the flanker, and it's 27 yards because they were going long. 10, 20, 7. So uh, they are down where they got a first down they're going to go long again because they're outside the range where they can do a long pass and this could be a payoff reward of a quick touchdown they are looking for the run so it's a six on the long pass which is intercepted by baltimore two to seven they might have paid for their greediness but they didn't so it's incomplete they're going to go short to the tight end short to the tight end they are looking for the pass and that is a 10 short and it is incomplete so they have a third and 10 really and they're going to go short to the split end and uh, they're in field goal range barely they're looking for the pass, and that's an eight short. Eight short is negative nine, and now they're not. Now they are not in field goal range. 
They're going to punt and hope for a really bad one. That is a really bad one. 841 back one. So yeah, it goes to the one yard line. That could pay off big for them. And uh, the number one back is um, seven. Oh, it's on the Pittsburgh card. And it's only a yard. So Baltimore has a first down at the two, at their own two. So they are, but luckily, um, yeah, luckily uh, Pittsburgh is poor against the run <clears throat> because that's exactly what they've got to do. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback. They're looking for the run as well, and that's a three line buck on Pittsburgh's defense, and that's nine yards. So they got a, a second and one. They're going to go off tackle with a halfback. Off tackle with the halfback. They're looking for the run. That is a five. Off tackle halfback. He doesn't fumble. So uh, let's see. Off tackle five is negative one because they were looking for it. So they got a third and two. <clears throat> and they're going to go back to the end run and run with the halfback. They're looking for the pass. That is a seven end run on the Pittsburgh D and that is four yards and a first down and it's a possible offensive penalty though let's see nine that might be no it isn't so they did get the first down so they're gonna go off tackle with the fullback they are looking for the pass that is a two off tackle should be big yards would have been even bigger if they'd done an end run but it's 31 yards, so 2, 10, 20, 30, and back it off one. And so they got the, they got the distance from the, the goal line that they wanted. Now they're going to go and run with a halfback and hope for that roll again, <laughs> frankly. They're looking for the pass, and that is a 12. End run 12 on their halfback is a short gain, and it's a double short gain anyway, but Six short gain is 16 yards. Two, ten, and four. So Baltimore moving the ball here. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. 6.03 left in the half. They're looking for the run. And that is an 11. Off tackle with the fullback. 11 is four yards. It would have been a long gain. So lucky they... they knew the right call so second and six they're gonna go end run with a halfback End run with a halfback they're looking for the run that is a seven end run on Pittsburgh and it's four yards and it is a first down and with the first down they're going to go off tackle with the fullback they're looking for the pass. That is a five, though. They don't fumble, though. So, oh, wait a minute. Does the fullback? Yes, the fullback does fumble. Fumble negative one, two to six. And it is, oh, wait a minute, uh, two to four, 11 or 12, but it still is. So he does fumble, and uh, but he d does get it back, and he actually, it was zero yards, so they don't lose any yards they have a second and ten they're gonna go end run with a halfback and run with a halfback they're looking for the pass I believe seven end run seven on the halfback is a short gain so let me just make sure that they are second and ten one to thirteen pass so yeah they are they were looking for the pass so short gain Four is 18 yards. Two, 10, 15, 17, 18. And Baltimore is right down there. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Don't want to tire anybody out. <clears throat> Although they are tiring their runners out, you would think. They're looking for the run, though. Six, off tackle six for the fullback. 
his zero yards because they were looking for it would have been zero even if they hadn't actually so they go end run with a halfback second and ten they are looking for the pass that is a six end run on Pittsburgh and it is eight yards so they got a third and two they're gonna go line buck with the fullback line buck with the fullback they're looking for the run that is a seven line buck that is probably not going to be good it is not it is negative one so on fourth and three they're going to kick the field goal from the eight yard line and from the eight yard line kicking a field goal is um two to ten good and it is barely it just barely goes through Baltimore gets their three points and we have ourselves a 10-7 game with three minutes left in the half Baltimore kicking off nine is to the one number two one yard line number two and seven is on their return on Baltimore's return card and that's 26 yards so it's out to the 27 a little further than it would have been had they just gotten a touchback instead and they're going to go long to the flanker coming out of this and Baltimore is looking for the run and that is a 10 long on the Baltimore D and it's a receiver and they're looking at the flanker flanker nine long is incomplete so they're gonna go short to the split end short to the split end they are looking for the run not a good idea seven possible defensive penalty seven short is 11 yards and let's see if there was a defensive penalty three there is and that's a number six number six on a pass is illegal contact five yards from the original line of scrimmage on a first down but they're going to refuse that and they're going to take the 11 yards so they have a first down and we're going to wait for the two minute warning and then time won't move on two minute warning since there's only a few seconds left so time doesn't run on this they're going to go long to the flanker since they have obtained another first down baltimore looking for the pass that is a three long and that's going to be incomplete so now they're going to go back to the short and time will run on this again and they're looking for the run and that is a seven possible offensive penalty but seven long is negative nine but let's see if there was an offensive penalty seven on Pittsburgh no there wasn't but they do lose nine yards now they're gonna go long to the flanker remember they only need to get in the field goal range to tie the game to have a tie they're looking for the uh we're, we'll go with that they're looking for the uh run seven long is incomplete and now baltimore is only looking for the pass and they have a third and forever they're going to go long to the split end that is a four long and it is a must run for rogers and that's a five and on a five he gets nine yards which is nice but really only gets them back to the original line of scrimmage so they have to punt with 48 seconds 47 seconds left eight is um 41 back one two ten 20 30 40. and a six on the back one is fair catch <clears throat> 
Baltimore has it first and 10 right there. They're really just going to be content to go into the uh, locker room up 10-7 and run with the halfback. Pittsburgh is looking for the pass. That is a seven uh, end run. Seven is a short gain. And that is an eight, which is only 14 yards. They have a first and 10. They're going to go end run with the halfback again. Pittsburgh looking for the run. <clears throat> Possible offensive penalty, seven end run is... Um, Four yards. Second and six. They're going to go off. To, oh, wait. Let's check for the offensive penalty. Five. And it's offside. So, really, they have a uh, second and 15. And the, and the half is over. And that's what you got. You got a 10-7 game going in to halftime. Couldn't ask for a better result for halftime. We'll see you in the second half. Hey, Sportsman Z here at halftime, and I wanted to give you guys a rundown of the other scores in the Sportsman Z Football League for Week 7, and a little bit of, uh, like, you know, discussion on how those games went. So, uh, one of the games was uh, the New York Jets, as you might recall, only had one loss coming into this week against the Michigan Panthers. And they beat the Panthers by the score of 28-17. And that is uh, two wins on the season for the Jets against the Panthers. Then you have New Jersey against Cleveland. And Cleveland actually won that game 37-10. Cleveland trying to keep pace with the Jets in the AFC. Um, San Francisco, Dallas. San Francisco won this one 17 -10. 16. The difference in the game was that the San Francisco 49ers had two touchdowns and a field goal, and the Dallas Cowboys had two touchdowns and a safety, and that decided the game. Then Chicago Green Bay, you got Chicago with a big win. They won 35-19 over the Green Bay Packers to knock them further down behind Detroit. Um, well, actually, they didn't knock them further down behind Detroit because we're going to get to that in a minute. But they didn't, you know, they didn't uh, capitalize on their chance to tie Detroit. So, yeah, the Chicago defense was stifling against the Green Bay Packers in this game, and they won 35-19. And then finally, the Detroit-Philly game. Philly comes in the worst, one of the worst teams in the league. In fact, I think they had the worst record in the league coming into week seven and they defeated the undefeated Detroit Lions and Drew Brees. They won that game 18-17. This was an awesome game and um, what ended up happening was the Detroit Lions missed two field goals during this game, barely missing them. They were two to nine good on the two dice on the D10s or on the on the D6s and they rolled 10 each time. And one of those times was right at the end of the game. They threw a long pass. They got into barely field goal range. They attempted the field goal and missed it. Would have won the game for them and kept them undefeated, but that didn't happen. And so they won they lost that game 18-17 in one of the most stunning upsets so far in the Sportsman Z League this year. And that's your rundown of all of the games at the half. Hello, we're back for the second half of the Steelers against the Colts with the Colts up 10-7 and the Steelers receiving the second half kickoff. And that's an 11 That'll be to the goal line, number two back, receiving it for Pittsburgh. And that's a seven. It's on the Baltimore card, as they have been for most of this game. And it's uh, 26 yards, so they have it one yard further ahead than if they had taken a touchback. And they will start 
by going with a uh, short pass to the split end. Again, trying to exploit the Baltimore defense, although that hasn't really worked well for them yet. Baltimore looking for the run. That's a seven. Short pass seven is 11 yards. So they've got a first and 10 again. This time they're going to go long. They're going to take advantage of having gotten the first down and try to go long with it. And that is, they're looking for the pass. That is a nine. Long pass nine is incomplete. So now they're going to go back to the short. They're going to go short to the split end on second and 10. They're looking for the pass. That is a 12. Short is 11 yards, and they get another first down out of it. So now they're going to take advantage again, try to go long and hit the flanker. And try a long pass to the flanker. Let's see if Baltimore is on to them. They are. They're looking for the pass. That is a 12 on the long pass defense for Baltimore, and it is a long game. And it is an 8 which is 41 yards, 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, and back it off, uh, 2, and they've got it at the Colts 12-yard line, 1st and 10. They're going to slip in, uh, slip a Mickey in here and try to go end run with the halfback and catch Baltimore off guard, but they're not. But they get a two end run halfback. There's a possible offensive penalty too. It would be a short gain. But let's see if um, there's a, if they have a penalty. Eight Pittsburgh. They don't. So it is a short gain for Clinton Portis running the ball, and that is a nine short gain is 13 yards and a touchdown. And just like that, Pittsburgh is ahead. And I said that coming into the half, into this half, that hasn't, the plan of exploiting the poor Baltimore defense hasn't worked for them, but it actually has right there. So Pittsburgh will kick off, and that's a two, which is to the five, number two. So Baltimore receives it at the five, and that is a ten. Number two back, 10 is 21 yards. So they're out to the 26. And again, just a little further beyond where they would have been if they'd had a um, touchback. And they're going to go end run with a halfback. They're going to try to keep exploiting the poor Pittsburgh defense. And uh, that's a four end run on the Pittsburgh D, which is nine yards. And gives them a second and one. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback. They're looking for the pass. That's a 12. So line buck with the fullback 12 is 46 yards. They were not looking for it. And it's 46 yards. They pay big. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 5. And they have it down at the Steelers' 20-yard line. That was a huge breakaway run there for Ernest Graham. And then they will go end run with the halfback. And now this, all of a sudden, this might become a scoring fest. Now that these teams have locked in on what the other team is not good at defending. They're looking for the run. And that is a seven, end run seven on uh, the on, on Ronnie Brown is negative one and if they hadn't been looking for it, it would have been a short game second and 11 they're gonna try a short pass to the split end they know the Pittsburgh defense is good against that but and they're looking for the pass and it's a 10 short pass on their defense it is incomplete and now they're gonna go back to the end run with the halfback they are in field goal range anyway So they are looking for the pass. That is a six and run six on the Pittsburgh defense. And that is eight yards. 
And now they got a decision. They've got a fourth and two. Fourth and two yards to go. They're going to try to go for that. They are going to try to go for it with a line buck by the fullback. Pittsburgh is looking for the pass. That is a seven line buck. And it is going to be three yards and a first down barely. And now they have a first and goal to 10. First and goal to 10, they gambled, they won. They're gonna go end run with the halfback on first down. Pittsburgh looking for the pass. That is a six and run. Eight yards and they're down to the two. They have a second and goal from the two. They're gonna go, they're gonna try the short pass here. Probably foolishly, but that's what they're calling. Short pass, second and two. They were looking for it, and it's a five. On Pennington, it's a must run since they were looking for the pass. But let's see if he can run for that. And he probably, and he does. He does run for it. Pennington scrambles and runs for the touchdown, and Baltimore goes back ahead. And so now you got a 17-14 game, Baltimore kicking off, six. Now you feel like the first team that doesn't score is going to lose this game. Eight yard line, they receive it. And it's the number two back for Pittsburgh. And that's a 10. That's 19 yards. So two, 15, 16, 17. They're out to the... 27-yard line. First and 10 from the 27. They're going to try their signature long pass on first down. 9.48 left in the third quarter. And that's an 8. That's going to be a long pass on the Baltimore defense 8, which is receiver. And that is a seven. That's going to the flanker, seven. And it is a double long gain. And that's an eight, which I believe is 41 yards. And it is. So three, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then back it off two. And they are at the 32 yard line of Baltimore, just like that. And they're gonna try that again. They're gonna go short, they're gonna go long to the sp the split end this time and they're looking for the pass and it is an eight long pass eight on uh, Baltimore is receiver and they're going to the split end and that's a seven to the split end and that's going to be 29 yards and so that's going to be two ten twenty and they're down to the three. First and goal from the three. Now they're gonna try an end run. Again, kind of like the Colts did, going against the grain. And they are looking for the run. And that is an eight, end run eight, on the, uh, on the halfback for Pittsburgh is, well, it would have been 29 yards, but it's Clinton Portis and it's good for three and the touchdown. And so like the tw tennis match that this is, Pittsburgh now goes ahead 21-17 and they will kick off. And now all of a sudden we got a score fest going on. 11 to the goal line, number two. To the goal line, number two. First one to make a mistake or not score, you got to believe is not going to win this game. Eight, 21 yards. Um, so out to the um, out to the 22. First and 10. They're going to go and run with the halfback. I mean, shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. And they're looking for the pass. That is an eight end run. Eight end run is 
five yards, or no, six yards, because they weren't looking for it. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. 7.46 left in the third quarter. They're looking for the pass. That is an eight off tackle. And that's seven yards, and it's going to be another first down. So they got a first down there at the 35-yard line, at their own 35. And then they're going to go back to the end run with the halfback. First and 10 from their own 35. They're looking for the run. Possible defensive penalty, though. Three end run is going to be uh, only two yards. But let's see if there's a defensive penalty on Pittsburgh. Eight, there isn't. So they only get two yards. And it's going to be second and eight. And they're going to go off tackle with the fullback on second and eight. And they are looking for the pass. That is a 10 off tackle. 10 is zero yards. They hold them. The Pittsburgh defense holds. They got a third and eight. They're going to go and they're still going to try to run the ball, though. That seems to be where their bread is buttered. Third and eight. They're looking for the pass. And that's a two. End run two on the halfback is going to be nine yards. And they just barely get the first down. But they do. And so it's off tackle with the fullback on first down. And that they're looking for the run. And that's a three off tackle with the fullback. And that's going to be four yards. And it would have been four yards either way. But they get the four yards. It's second and six. Time is uh, winding down, 5.55 left in the third quarter. And the Colts are at their own 49 with a second and um, second and six. Going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback. They're looking for the run. That is an eight end run. End run eight is five yards. And that brings up a Third and one, they're going to go line buck with the fullback. You know they're going to be running the ball. That's really what they've been doing most of the game. And they are looking for the pass. No, they're no, they're looking for the they're looking for the run. So they're looking for the run, and it's a three off tackle or no line buck fullback on a three is three yards. And it does get them the first down. So now they're going to go end run with the halfback. <coughs> I guess this is exactly what people would like to see. A lot of scoring, opening up the scoring, not like the first half was. They're looking for the run. That is a nine and a possible offensive penalty. End run nine is zero yards. Let's see if they have an offensive penalty. Nine, uh, they don't. So it's just second and ten. Second and 10, 431 left. They are at the Pittsburgh 44 yard line. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. They are looking for the pass, and that is an 11 off tackle, 11, and that's nine yards. And so now they have a third and one. They're going to go line buck with the halfback. Line buck with the halfback. They're looking for the run. Possible offensive penalty, six. Uh, line buck with the halfback. Let's see. Is one yard, and it would be the first down, but let's see if they have a penalty on them. Six. I don't think they do. They don't. So they just get the first down again, second time on this drive. And now they have a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 34 yard line with 329 left. They're going to go end run with the halfback. Seems to be working, running the ball, running it down Pittsburgh's throat. They are looking for the run though. Possible defensive penalty though, five end run. Now they are doing an end and run with the halfback and he doesn't fumble, but he does lose eight, eight yards. Yes, he does lose eight yards if there was no penalty on the defense. 
and that's an eight on Pittsburgh's, and there wasn't, so he did lose eight yards. So they have, now they've got a second and 18. They kind of have to try to go short. They have to try to pass here. Because running it might get them in field goal range, but that's not ultimately what they want. Pittsburgh's looking for the pass. That is a 10 short pass on Pennington. It's incomplete. And now they're going to they're gonna go back to the run. They're going to go end run with the halfback and hope for something big. But Pittsburgh is probably going to guess pass. They do. And that is a 7. End run 7. Possible offensive penalty. It's only 4 yards. So unless this refers it to the defense, and it doesn't look like it does, it's no penalty at all. So they are at the 38-yard line of Pittsburgh. They can't even kick a field goal from there. So what they're going to do is they're going to go for it. And they're going to hope for something huge with an end run halfback. I mean, they need something really big. And they're looking for the... Um, actually, they're looking for the pass. Even though I rolled what might have been a run, they're looking for the pass. And that is an 11. End run 11 on the halfback is only 8 yards. And the offensive, unless it refers it back and it doesn't, no. So Pittsburgh takes over there. It was probably a foolhardy call, but... They had to try something, and they didn't really want to punt from where they were. So that means the Pittsburgh is going to go long to the flanker. And now, if Pittsburgh can, you got to feel, if Pittsburgh scores a touchdown here, that's it. And they're operating starting from their own 38-yard line. They're looking for the run. So that's a 7, but a possible defensive penalty. Um, 7 long is negative 9. Baltimore um, sacks Rodgers, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty. Ten, there might be. Opponent was off sides, though. But they're going to refuse the penalty, and they're going to take the negative nine. And so it's second and 19. And now they're going to stick with the long, at least on this play, on second and 19. And they are looking for, I'm not really even sure what they're looking for. But it's a double long game, doesn't matter. And that's a four on the long game, which is 55 yards. So it's going to be down to the 10, 15, 16 yard line of Baltimore. And that's the end of the third quarter with the score 21 17 Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh driving. And they have a first and 10 at the Baltimore 16, and they're going to go short to the split end. And what did I say? The next team, probably if Pittsburgh scores here, it's gonna to be tough for Baltimore because all they can do is run. Seven long pass, or no, short pass seven on Baltimore. That's 11 yards and no penalties. So now they have a first and goal at the six yard line of Baltimore. They're gonna slip in a run here. And Baltimore looking for the run too. And that's a four end run on their uh, halfback and that's only two yards so it's second and goal from the four they're gonna go short to the split end short to the split end they are looking for the run that is an eight short with a possible defensive penalty it would be a um, well, no, it would be it would be receiver, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty. Seven, there isn't. So let's roll for the receiver's card, the split end, short pass eight. 
And that is 10 yards and a touchdown. And with 13-39 left in the game, Pittsburgh takes a 28-17 lead. Not really insurmountable, but Baltimore's going to have to have some things go their way. Four, that is a kickoff of to the three-yard line for Baltimore. And the number one back. Returning it, and he gets a nine, which is 19 yards, so out to the 22. Baltimore really is going to have to have something big go their way. Um, they're going to go end run with a halfback. they got to go back to the running game because that's the only way they can move the ball. Pittsburgh looking for it, though, and that's a five end run. And that is going to be a fumble possibility, 2-4, to four, 11, or 12. And they don't, but they do lose two yards. And so now they got a second and 12. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Pittsburgh looking for the run. And that's a four off tackle on the Pittsburgh defense. And that's nine yards. So they've got a third and two. Third and two, they're going to go line buck with a halfback. They're looking for the run. That is a 10 line buck. And it's six yards. So they do pick it up. And they keep the chains moving. They're going to go end run with a halfback on first and 10. 12.36 left in the game. That's an 11 end run on Pittsburgh's defense, and that's a short game. And that's going to be 19 yards. 10, 20, and then back it off. One, it's 19. They got a first and 10. They're going to go uh, off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback. Pittsburgh looking for the run, and that's a five. Off tackle, another possible. Fumble, fumble, negative one, two to four, 11 or 12. And it's a five, so it's just a negative one yard. And they maintain possession. They're gonna go end run with a half back on second and 11. Second and 11, they are looking for the pass. That is an eight um, off tackle on their defense is seven yards. So one, two, three, four, they got a uh, third and four. They're gonna go line buck with a fullback. Line buck with the fullback. They are looking for the run. That is an eight. Um, line buck, eight is five yards. And they still managed to get the first down. So they're gonna go end run with the halfback. 11.05 left. They are looking for the pass. That is a six. End run six. Um, on the halfback is... On the, is it on the halfback? Yeah. End run six is only two yards. So second and eight, they're going to go... They're going to go flat pass to the tight end. Because they only got two there. Pittsburgh looking for the pass though, and it's a three flat pass on their defense, and it's 29 yards. Big pickup. Three, 10, 20. And they have a first down goal at the Pittsburgh four, and now they're going to go end run with a halfback, not surprisingly. They did need that huge pickup though. And Pittsburgh looking for the run. That is a 10 end run with a possible offensive. Uh, penalty. It would be six yards and a touchdown if they don't have a penalty and nine they don't. So they do have a touchdown and that makes the score 28-24 Pittsburgh and with 9.54 left Baltimore is kicking off. That's a 10. That's to the 12 number one. To the 12, number one back. 
That is an eight. Um, opponent kickoff return is 19, or wait, is uh, 26. 26 yards. So three, 10, 20, and three. And they've got great field position. Pittsburgh is going to start first and 10 at their 38 yard line. And they are, of course, going to start out with a long pass to the flanker. Of course, really, one has to wonder, when they score, are they scoring too quickly? But right now, they've got the upper edge by four points anyway. And Baltimore's looking for the pass. That's a 10. Long pass, 10. Intercepted 31 yards, 2 to 7, 11, or 12. And it is. So right there, that could be the break Baltimore wanted. It's an interception 31 yards downfield. 3, 10, 20, 30. And back it off 2. And the interception return would be even better if it was returned for a touchdown. But it isn't. It is going to be returned 15 yards though. 3, 10, and 2. And Baltimore ends up with the ball after the return at their own um, 47-yard uh, line. So they're going to go end run with the halfback. Now they can do that. 8.56 left, and they're only down by four. And Pittsburgh looking for the um, pass. That is a nine. End run four. Let's see is nine yards. Oh, wait a minute. No, nine. It's a zero. Zero yards. So they got a second down. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. Now they really do need to make some headway on this. They can't have this be a non-scoring drive. And that is going to be a, a 10 on the off tackle on the Pittsburgh defense. And that's zero. So now they're really in trouble. They got to go short. Short to the split end. And they are looking for, let's see, third and ten. Probably Pittsburgh is looking for the pass. Um, well, yeah, they are. Short pass five on Pennington is going to be must run. Now, he might be able to scramble for a lot of that. We'll see. Five is six yards. So now they've got a third and four. Third and four, they really have a decision to make. And uh, they are going to punt the ball. And time won't move on this. But they have to hold them just like they did last time. Or pick it off or whatever. But they have to stop them somehow. Nine, the punt is 43 back one. So it's at the 47, so it's going to be at the four. Pittsburgh is going to receive the ball at the four. And it's a seven, which is their punt return card, and that's 10 yards. So they're out to the 14. They do have to make Pittsburgh go a long way, but Pittsburgh is leading by four points. And they're going to go uh, short. They're going to try short because they don't really need the long. They don't need to score. They just need to keep possession of the ball for a while. They're looking for the pass. That is a 10. Short pass 10 is incomplete on Rogers' card. They're going to go end run with a halfback. Try to slip that in there. They are looking for the pass. That is a 10 end run. 10 end run is negative 2. And so now with a 3rd and 12 they're going to go short to the flanker. They probably shouldn't have run the ball there but they're trying to eat clock really mainly. 7 short pass on Baltimore's defense is negative 9. Or wait a minute. No, hold on. 7 is 11 yards. 11 yards, they don't have the first down. They need two, but they're not they're not going to risk it. They're going to punt the ball. 8 41 back two back one. 41 back one. So 3 10 20 30 40. Back it off two. 
back number one returning it, and that's a six. Um, punt return six is a fair catch. So Baltimore did hold them, and again, the this is a crucial set of downs right here. End run with the halfback, they may not get another possession or another possession in enough time. Pittsburgh's looking for the pass. That is a seven, end run seven is on the uh, Pittsburgh defense is four yards. So they got a second and six. They're gonna go off tackle with the fullback. Off tackle with the fullback. They're looking for the pass. That is a six off tackle. And that's going to be five yards. And so they have a third and one. And they're going to go line buck with the fullback. Line buck with the fullback. They're looking for the pass. And that is a four line buck with a possible defensive penalty. Four line buck is short gain but let's see if they have a defensive penalty five pittsburgh they don't so it is a short gain we'll roll for the short gain it's six and it is 16 16 yards so four ten and two baltimore on the move they can't have a field goal they need the touchdown they're going to go end run with the halfback 431 left in the game in regulation and they are looking for the, the run and that is a six possible offensive penalty six end run is eight yards but let's see if they have a penalty five they do they're off sides so Pittsburgh's definitely going to take that um, so they have a first and 15 they're still going to stick with the end run halfback. They've got to stick with the run. They can't pass on this Pittsburgh defense. Pittsburgh looking for the pass. Six end run. And that's eight yards. Three, eight. So they have a second and six. Second and six. Um, or no, second and seven. Second and seven, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. 329 left, off tackle fullback. Pittsburgh is looking for the um, run. That is a two off tackle with the fullback. And it's only one yard. So it's going to be now third and five. Third and five, they're going to go flat to the tight end. They really have to put it in the air, probably. They're looking for the run, though. And that's a six offensive penalty, possible offensive penalty. Six flat pass on Pittsburgh's defense. Is a short gain, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. Three. Number six, there was. Number six on a pass. is holding 10 yards from the line of scrimmage so so they've got really they've got a third and this is bad they've got a third and uh 15. So they've really got to go short pass that's all they can do short pass to the tight end and then after this it's a two minute warning and they can decide pittsburgh is looking for the pass though nine short pass nine on pittsburgh's defense is receiver tight end 10 tight end 10 on a short is incomplete and that's going to be at 146 it's going to stop for the two minute warning and they have a fourth down a minute 46 left they got a punt and they just got to hope for something miraculous 11. Well, that's a great punt for where they are. 34 back one. 4, 10, 20, 30. Pittsburgh returning it from the 10. And that's a 5. 
Punt Return 5. And it's going to be um, a fair catch. Pittsburgh has it first and 10 at the 10. And time doesn't move on this play because it's the two-minute warning play. They're going to go short pass to the split end. They're taking kind of a risk here anyway because they could be sacked. Baltimore looking for the run. That is a 10. Long pass or short pass 10 on Baltimore's defense is incomplete. So they're going to go short to the flanker and now time is going to move. Baltimore still has all their timeouts, as does Pittsburgh, for that matter. They are looking for the pass. That is a nine, short pass, possible offensive penalty. Nine is a receiver. And it's an 11 on the flanker. 11 on the flanker on a short pass is 14 yards if they didn't have an offensive penalty. Five, they didn't, so they get 14 yards. And they have a uh, uh, first and ten right there. They're going to go short to the split end. And they are looking for the run. That's a seven short pass. And um, short pass seven is negative nine. Wait a minute. No, seven short pass is 11 yards. And Baltimore is going to call their first time out. Pittsburgh getting the first down. They're going to call their first time out on this play short to the flanker. So time won't move. They are looking for the, the run. But uh, 10, possible offensive penalty, 10 short pass is incomplete. And let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. Nine. Opponent offsides. They really didn't need that. So now it's really a first and five. And they're going to go short to the split end. And Baltimore's taking their second time out, so time won't move again. And that is a three short pass, and they are looking for it, so it's incomplete. So they're going to use their third timeout, and it's second and or third and five. Third and five, they're going to go short to the flanker. They have to stop them right here. And they are looking for the run, really. And it's a seven, seven short pass. It would have been a, it's 12 yards either way. And the defensive penalty possibility is a four. Baltimore for number five, whatever the penalty is, they're going to refuse it and they'll take the play for 12 yards. So Pittsburgh has it first and 10, and that was all three timeouts for Baltimore. So all they have to do now is eat the clock. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Flat to the tight end. They're looking for the pass. That is a five. That is incomplete. They're going to go short. To the split end on second and ten. Second and ten. They're looking for the pass. That is a six uh, short. And it's going to be six short is incomplete. They're going to go third and ten. They're going to go short to the flanker. And they are looking for the pass. That is a six. Possible defensive penalty. Six short is um, incomplete and the defensive penalty is an eight which means it isn't and that's the game and Pittsburgh wins it 28-24 they hang on a lot of scoring a lot more scoring in the second half than in the first but that is our game with Pittsburgh winning 28-24